Hey folks, Chris Van Viver here from WhyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Today's video is part of a three-part series on how to export tracks out of Logic. And in today's final video on exporting, we're going to examine how to export auxiliary channels. Now, auxiliary channels typically are used for things like reverb and delay, compression, any sort of sound that you want to run in parallel to your main track. So for example, we have this drummer track here, and we have it sending via bus 97 to this small reverb. We can take a listen. If I remove it, as you can hear, there's reverb applied to the signal when the send is in effect. Now, if we select this small reverb and then go to the export dialog, I'm going to enable add resulting files to project browser so we can see over here in the project browser what is being exported. And then I hit export. We can see that the original drummer track has been exported, but no reverb has been exported at all. In fact, if I drag this into the session, we can take a listen to it. And remember, this is what the drums sound like with the reverb. Okay, so we need a solution to this. I found that if we create a track lane in the main window here for the auxiliary channel, we can then export the auxiliary channel. But while I was preparing for this video, I ran into some interesting behaviors that I wanna share as well. To create a new track lane for this auxiliary channel, I'm going to either use Control T, or if we back up here, we can go up to Option and then Create Tracks for Selected Channel Strips. All right, so now we should be good to go. Let's check it out. I open the export dialog, and then I have my reverb track selected. Once I hit export, as you can see over here in the project browser, nothing actually has happened. Okay. So if I select both the drummer track lane and the reverb track lane, and then use the export dialog, let's see what happens. Interesting. So now we have a drummer track lane, the original dry track. And then we also have a reverb track lane. So it seems to be that we have to include the drummer track in with our export to more or less trip the reverb to let Logic know there is audio passing through the auxiliary channel for reverb. Okay, so now I'm going to open the Apple Loop browser. I'm going to drag in some sort of MIDI loop. I'll turn these two off for now. And now I'm going to create a new send for this Apple Loop. I'm gonna set the send to full blast. We'll even copy Space Designer over. So let's take a quick listen to what we're working with. We can see that audio is passing through Space Designer here on the second auxiliary channel. Let's call it Space Designer. Control T to introduce it to the track lanes here. So now let's see if I can export Space Designer by itself. Once again, open the project browser and let's export. Once again, nothing has occurred. Seems kind of problematic. So let me select our 12 string acoustic guitar track lane. Use the export dialog. Interesting, so now we have both the guitar and the reverb. Let's check this out. Okay, interesting. So now I'm going to introduce, instead of a MIDI Apple loop, I'm going to introduce an audiophile Apple loop. I'm also going to send this bass guitar to the same instance of Space Designer on the auxiliary channel here. And I'm going to export the auxiliary channel by itself. Okay, so now we've been able to successfully export the audio for this auxiliary channel that was tied to the bass loop. Let's take a listen to it. It's so interesting that even though the MIDI region is also being sent to the same instance of Space Designer, only the bass guitar has been printed in the export. Now lastly, let's dig into what happens if I select the guitar and Space Designer and then export. So far, we've only been able to export auxiliary channels that are tied to a drummer loop or a MIDI loop. 
if we select the original software instrument as well for export. So let's just see what happens here. Okay, I'm gonna drag in, presumably was the Space Designer waveform. Take a listen to this. Fascinating. The audio tracks seem to pass through no problem. We can export auxiliary channels without any issue as long as an audio track is sending to it. With MIDI loops and drummer loops, we have to actually select those software instrument track lanes for Logic to acknowledge that there's audio passing through it. And even then I've found some inconsistencies in terms of what works and what doesn't. In a recent project, I was exporting all of the final files as stems and all of the files within the project were audio tracks. They weren't MIDI, they weren't drummer. And yet I forgot to export the auxiliary channels. When I went back to export them, I selected only the auxiliary channels, but none of them exported out. I had to re-export all of the tracks for Logic to acknowledge that there was audio passing through those auxiliary channels. So there's some inconsistencies, but we can work our way around it. I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, as always, I highly suggest subscribing to the YouTube channel, Wyologic Pro Rules, or subscribing to the website itself, wylogicprorules.com. Every week I'm posting new videos, new emails, and new posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Thanks so much.